Hello YouTube, Etsy here again. Welcome back to episode 47, <clears throat> excuse me, of our All Achievements Challenge in Modded Minecraft. And I'm going to try and get through the rest of these Twilight Achievements today. That's my goal. We don't have too much to go. Um, obviously this one is bugged on me. Uh, I don't know if it's my fault, client fault, whatever fault. Um, I'm almost with this one and I did find this so hopefully these won't take too much longer to get through I don't know what they really mean but um, we're gonna see what we can do at least get through these two I would think uh, but anyway you can see my health is running very low so we're gonna run around a little bit I want to take a little bit of damage and then we're gonna eat this hydro pop there we go there we go massive chops nice okay so that's what we wanted to get out of that one uh, you know, we'll just keep eating them. Can't hurt, right? And let's go and check out, right here is where I have, I think that's where the trophy is. Um, I was searching around that area for a while. And, uh, it's getting dark here. You can see, it's like, I don't even know where the center is on that. Looks like it's out that way some. Oh yeah, it's down south of us. But, uh, you know, I cleared out that whole area, and then I just started randomly searching, and I ran into some bedrock, and when I went to kill it, it wouldn't let me. So then I realized we were at the place we needed to be at. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump down in here and see how this thing actually works. Um, I've not done this before, so this is all new to me. Sweet. Trophy champion. Alright, so let's see what that opened up. Now it lets us Carmite Acclamation. Settles the restless phantoms in a knight's tomb and the Carmite Towers devices will obey you. So does that mean I have to go down and kill this stuff? Um, I imagine it does. It's going to be dark in here, so I know in some of these videos it gets really dark and I apologize for that. Um, it's kind of hard to uh, think about keep lighting it up uh, when I'm playing. Um, I'm not sure what I have to do here. I don't have a clue actually, but uh, I guess we'll just go through it and um, see what we can do. That's all I can do, right? Um, doesn't look to be that big of a place, although I could be completely mistaken. Let's drop down. I always want to go down lower when you can, right? Um, even though there's nothing around here. Yeah, there's stuff in the back. There's some chests. Uh, I don't know what... You know, it's, I don't know if it means anything. That looks... important. Let's jump in here. Alright. There we go. I think we, we did it. <laughs> That was simple enough, right? And it's due to our strength, right? I mean, we're just so darn strong. I don't think this mod ever had any intention of us being this overpowered. Uh, so let's see what that did. Okay, now we can touch the fiery red tears of the Urgast, allowing you to reset the snow force chill. So the Urgast are those carbonite things in the middle, and it looks like it expanded that a bit too. Um, there's more stuff going on here. Okay, well let's uh, go ahead and get ourselves to this. Since it was near the center. I wonder if that's not opened up now. It is. Okay. I'm just going to fly to the top uh, because I know I want you to go inside of all this, but we don't need to. We have flight. So I'm just going to go up here, but I should be able to pop these now. Yeah. But uh, let's just go to the top, find this thing, and smash its face in. Um, I'm guessing it's that. He's probably going to get dead. So there's that dead. Uh, what else do I got to do? Not really sure. <laughs> Took a while. 
Okay, um, so now what? Achievements. And he was loud, sorry about that. Uh, line your garments with the soft fur from the Alpha Yeti. Keep you safe, keeping you safe from the glacier's cold. So, Alpha Yeti. Do I have any of that stuff? Alpha Yeti. Uh, Alpha Yeti fur. I have no idea where to get Alpha Yeti fur. These are people. Alright, whatever. Um, let's look at our. God, you're so loud, game. Alright, let's see if we can go into that place. We should try and sleep, right? Just to get rid of this horrible video that we're gonna have. Tell you what, let's go back to base. Let's see if it's raining here, which it probably is. Let's go ahead and sleep. Get rid of this rain. All right, so I gotta do something with Yeti, something or other. All that can go away. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. So where do I find Yeti fur? Uh, I guess it's from a, a mob, right? Um, so let's go ahead and go first view up some of this because it looks like I'm running low. So let's add some fuel. And then let's go back to where we were. head over to the closest yeah let's go over there and see if we can find some yetis all right <clears throat> so we're making some progress here I'd like to get this Twilight Forest list done um, obviously we can't do the scepter achievement just, I got a bug um, I haven't really done research or anything to see if I can get through that bug but obviously we have one Okay, so this is cleared now. I should be able to find some yetis and get their fur, right? That's what it wants me to do, I think. So let's get to the... Let's do some hunting. Uh, pretty sure this is where those awesome blocks are, too, in the center of this. Um, yeah, if we go over there, yeah, right here, on this tower of penguins. Um, right here, are these awesome ore blocks, and I can't get in there, but those blocks are freaking cool. So I'm gonna guess the Yetis are around here somewhere. Uh, I have no idea. Let's just search around and see what we can discover. What does the achievement say exactly? It says. Line your garments with the soft fur from the Ye Alpha Yeti, keeping you safe from the glacier's cold. So where do I find the Alpha Yeti? Let's just do a little research first. Let's Alpha Yeti Twilight Forest. Maybe he's in a different biome. Let's see. Alpha Yeta must be defeated to access the glacier biome as immune to bows. Uh, in Minecraft 1.7, when the Alpha Yeti flails about, he's vulnerable to taking damage from a bow. So where is the Alpha, Alpha Yeti? Uh, Twilight Forest Guide, Ice Kingdom. Yeti Lair. Okay. So he looks pretty ugly. Um, mm. The journey to the Ice Kingdom will take you to the Yeti Lair. It's a cube shaped hill that can be easily recognized as entrance on all four sides. Okay, so it's this thing and it has an entrance on all four sides, right? It's a cube shaped 
flare. Okay, maybe it's this. Yep, it's this. So there he is. So this shouldn't really be a challenge. Okay, we got it. Alpha fur. That was easy enough. Is that packed ice? It is packed ice. Cool. Alright, so now that should open up the center. It did. Now I can get in here. And these blocks are cool. I think they wreck havoc on your uh, frame rates. But they are pretty cool. Um, Alright, so what's the next achievement? It is to defeat the Snow Queen atop the War Palace, clearing away the acid rain from the highlands. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get up here. Let's find this Snow Queen. And I'm just going to break down through the middle, right? Because that's what I do. Yes. Nope, there she is. Okay, now she's dead. Uh, what the cool did I get out of her? Oh, nice little trophy. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Alright, um, got a bow too. I don't know what that's about, but it's pretty neat. Okay, um,. What's next? <clears throat> Find the lamp ascenders in the troll caves, and you can burn away the thorn barriers. Okay, so we gotta find troll caves. So, I imagine it's in the highlands, right? Um, twilight Forest Troll Caves. Find the lamp of cinders. So, troll caves are, yeah, in the highlands. Okay. So, let's try and find one of those guys. Um, and I might come back to this. I'm going to mark this on my map. Because if I do ever build anything, I want to try and build all this stuff. So, let's just uh, add new, let's call this... Uh, Ice, Twilight Force Ice Blocks. These things are cool. Let's go ahead and lock that in. And let's take a look at our map. I don't know where those Highlands things are. It's not there, is it? Uh, maybe it's those? I don't know. Let's go up there. Let's go up there. I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> I know we've seen them because I haven't been able to get through them before, right? It's just I don't remember exactly what biome that was. So let's uh, go find out if it's that one or not. We can always zoom around this map a little bit, uh, which is good. Okay. We need to, tr need to find a troll cave. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and empty my inventory out a little bit too. I want to keep this on me. Uh, the rest of this can go away. Like I said, I don't know if this is the Highland or not. No, it's a fire swamp. So I'm guessing it's where the Hydra is. And not the Troll Cave, right? I'm pretty darn sure. 
killed earlier all right so let's see what's next on our potential list of uh, places to see <coughs> excuse me I don't know what it looks like so I guess I'm going to there's two options here <coughs> first my game froze so one option is I can do some exploring now, or <clears throat> I can cut it and then come back once I find it, which I think is what I'm going to try and do. So I will see you in a little bit. All right, so I found the place. It's where all these thorns are, and you have these big clouds overhead. Um, so I think what we need to do is go down here and, yeah, see these mushroom things? This is what we're after. And these trolls will apparently drop some magic beans. And if they don't drop magic beans, we'll find beans inside here. Okay, all right, so we got some magic beans. And now what we need to do, there's supposed to be a giant. Yeah, right there is the giant one. Okay, so inside here is the big thing that we need. That's where the lamp is, but I think to play through this, we need to plant our magic beans. Whoa. And that grows a beanstalk up to the cloud in the sky. All right. And up here should be some giants. Yes, see, there's a giant. And he looks like me. And I need his pickaxe. This is pretty cool. I saw a goo trolling a... Uh, Chad with these giant blocks last night actually on his stream uh, but I'm not going to pick any up but this giant pickaxe look how funny that thing is alright so let's go back down um, and it was pretty much straight down wasn't it where's our hole in the ground here um, I don't know let's just get it All right, and then inside of here, now we can break this with the giant pickaxe. And I bet we we can break it with our obsidian, or with our uh, draconic tool, just because the thing's freaking amazing. No, we can't, huh? Good, good job, game. Proud of you. So we have to do that playthrough. And inside of here, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> inside of here should be the lamp we need to burn the forests. Okay. There's the lamp. Cool. All right, so let's empty our inventory out a bit. Uh, oh, I'm putting that back in the chest. How big is that chest? Really as large as it says it is. So let's get back up in here. And now that we have this lamp, should be able to burn these. There we 
we go. We did it. Alright, so this is supposed to let you get through them, right? So you, you burn them with the lamp. You can break them. Otherwise, if you try and break them, they respawn. So the whole theory is that you can make your way up this, but we can do that just by flying. All right, so what's next? Uh, make it past the Thornlands and unlock the door to the castle. So how do we unlock the door to the castle? Uh, let's empty some of our inventory out. I wanna keep some of this stuff just in case. We'll keep that on us and we'll keep these on us. I don't think I need that. So here's the castle, right? Um, wow. So can I make it into the castle door? These blocks look cool. All right, so let's just play through. I'll make it up the castle. Right. There's the castle. How do I get into the doors? Maybe I just need the knock? in. Hello. Hello. I don't know what to do next. So make it past the thorns and unlock the door to the castle. So castle very well. <laughs> All right, let's uh Yeah, the reading that I've discovered, I mean, is pretty lackluster. This is pretty much the end of it. I don't know why it didn't trigger unless I'm not entering the proper door. That might be all it is. Let's try and find a proper entrance. So, is there a proper door? I don't really see one. Ah, oh, let's keep looking. It is pretty cool. Unless it's at the very top. You know. Uh, that's pretty cool. Let's go that way. I do like these blocks. It's probably pretty dark in here for you guys, huh? On a boss here, you win. Looks like they haven't really completed it, huh? Still in development, I'm going to say. Well, I don't know what else to do <coughs> to finish this. Uh, Uh, is it still bugged? I mean, there is no real door to this castle. Um, it's a cool build, though. 
That looks something special over here with these colors. Parkour area two, mini boss one. Wow, that's cool looking blocks. Blue force field. I like that look. It's neat stuff. Well, I think I'm just going to call Twilight done because I don't know what else to do. Um, they said it was anticlimactic, and I'm going to say that it is. Uh, I've reached the top of the castle in the last section. I've gone through the doors. I don't know what else you want me to do. And I suppose it's because oh, game freezing up on me. I suppose it's because the thorns achievement didn't happen at the top of the door achievement didn't happen. But I don't know how to trigger that one, right? So make it past the thornlands and unlock the door to the castle. It's not like I have a key or anything. I don't know what all that stuff underneath is yet. That's I don't make mention of it anywhere in the documentation that I found. Um, I wonder if I have to, like, cut through so many of these. It just counts how many I've gone through to determine if I've done it or not. Heck, I don't know. I don't know the mod author's logic here, so... But as far as I'm concerned, I made it. Legitly. And cheaply. I guess I can break through it. See if that counts, right? Make my own door. the size of it. Well, I'm going to say that about does it for me on this one. Um,
go this way. So we're down. Then up. So an entrance over here. Nope. I don't know what you want from me, game. But I'm going to call the Twilight Force done because there is nothing left to do. I've done it all. As far as the achievements go, apparently. So even though the achievements aren't really taken, um, they're as finished as I can make them. So thanks for watching. And check me out in the next one. I think what we're going to do <clears throat> is IC2. We're going to get back into some tech. Uh, auto craft, auto craft, auto craft. I believe to get to some of that other stuff, I do need to make a trip to the runic dungeons to get some uh, iridium. Uh, applied energetics is almost done too. Um, maybe we'll make a detour and finish those up. I'm going to do that to myself, I think, and that shouldn't be too hard to, to fudge and then do that. Build craft done, that's done. This shouldn't be too hard to finish out. Oh yeah, we need some more redstone. Done, done, almost done. Um, I don't know, we'll think about it. I'll figure out what to do next. But I'm gonna call Twilight Force complete, even though it's really not, because I don't know what else the game wants me to do and it's buggy. So, like I said, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.